hello hello friends welcome back or welcome if you're new as promised here is the second part to the shop with me at home depot they are fully stocked with a lot of bulbs that you need to plant in spring in front of us i'm gonna share with you the gmo free plants and also veggies they have so right here you can see they have the hardy fig this is a chicago plant it is self-pollinating and you should harvest this one in the summer and i love that they give you all the instructions in here so with the chicago fig it is hardy from zones 5 through 10 and it prefers full sun and also partial shade and it will get 10 to 12 feet tall friends 10 to 12 feet tall so when you're buying these fruit trees make sure you pick a perfect spot according to the requirements that these trees will need on the box okay and then below here this is i think maybe everybody's favorite strawberries and in here this is a self-pollinating one and there's 10 ozark beauty plants in here and all of these boxes are ten dollars and 98 cents so with the strawberries they're hardy from zones two to nine they prefer full sun and they will only get 12 inches tall and this comes with 10 plants in here so you can check out my video with the dollar store where you can get those stackable planters and you can put your strawberries in those those will look so good with your strawberries and then down below here we have black berries these are high yielding meaning that they give you a lot per plant and you harvest these in late summer and everything i'm sharing with you is gmo free okay and your blackberry is hardy from zones five through nine it prefers full sun and it will get three to five feet tall once again friends make sure you put these plants where they can spread out very very important And moving over here, we have another strawberry. I'll go through the difference with you. And this one is a tri-star strawberry. There's 10 plants in the box and you harvest these in summer and these are delicious. And they're hardy from zones four through nine. They prefer full sun and they will get six to eight inches tall. And your spacing should be 12 to 15. And I'm going to put it next to the Ozark so we can actually see what is the difference with these two different strawberries. So the Ozark is on your left, the TriStar is on your right. So the difference is one, the zone and also the height. So very important when you're buying these, look at the zone and see where it's hardy. Hardy means it will come back for you. It will withstand your winter. I'm in zone 6B. So whenever I'm looking for something to return, I always make sure zone 6 is covered between those zones. Just a tip for you. And then here we have blueberry. I'm telling you, the pitch in these boxes, they're so vibrant. And this is the early blue plant blueberry. And your blueberry is hardy from zones 5 through 8. It prefers full sun and it will get 4 to 5 feet tall. Can you imagine the plant in this small box will get this tall? It's amazing, isn't it? All right, friends. And up here we have Niagara plant grape and it's self-pollinating and you harvest this in late summer so it's good that you don't have to worry about getting another grape plant to pollinate it it's self-pollinating so that's a plus this is hardy from zones five through nine and it will get four to eight feet tall oh my goodness that's pretty tall and friends if you never purchased one of these you never planted one of these try something different this spring look at these fruit trees in the video and decide which one you would like to try and then here we have the concord plant grape and this is hardy from zones five through nine it prefers full sun partial shade it will get four to eight feet tall so once again try one of these plants and see what happens right I have my eye on one of these and um, I'll definitely be doing a video with it. So make sure you subscribe so you can see which one I decided to try. And All right, friends. And here we have another grape. 
this one is the Suffolk plant and it will get four to eight feet tall prefers full sun and is hardy from zones four through eight and i love that it gave you the planting tips and the box so if you want to try one of these you'll be fine just read the instructions and you'll be fine so that's pretty good that the instructions are pretty easy to read and below here we have hardy fig and this comes with one chicago plant in here and i think we saw that already so i'm just making sure i don't miss anything so when you're looking around just come here and make sure you didn't miss anything and then here we have a pomegranate this has one wonderful plant it's self-pollinating and you will harvest this in fall and it's hardy from zone 7 to 10 it loves full sun and it will get 10 feet tall and if you're enjoying this video friends i do appreciate it if you can click the like button and thank you for subscribing and if you would consider subscribing if you have not subscribed i do appreciate the support and here we have the red lake current this is also self-pollinating you will harvest this midsummer it's hardy from zones three to seven and it will get three to five feet tall and it prefers full sun partial shade And over here we have gooseberry your gooseberry you will harvest this in midsummer and it is hardy from zones three to eight it prefers full sun partial shade and it will get three to four feet tall next to it we have raspberry one latham plant oh look at the jam there it looks so delicious and it is hardy from zones three to nine prefers full sun and it will get two to three feet tall i love raspberry in cheesecake and then here we have hardy kiwi the kiwi is also self-pollinating you will harvest this late summer to fall and it will get wow 20 to 25 feet tall and it's hardy from zones four to eight and it loves full sun oh my goodness that's pretty tall and friends if you haven't seen my shop with me video at home depot they have your summer bulbs out which you should plant in spring i'll leave that down for you below and also i did one from sam's club too i'll leave that for you down below so you could check out and get your bulbs before they're gone okay and remember spring will be here soon so hang in there Alrighty, friends so below here we have seed potatoes this is a yukon gold there are four seeds in here for three dollars and 98 cents it's high yield meaning you will get a lot of potatoes from just one seed potato and it prefers full sun and it will get 30 to 40 inches tall and you will harvest this early summer to fall and it's good from zones four through nine if you never planted potatoes before give them a try there are only four seeds in here for three dollars and 98 cents and make sure whatever container you put them in make sure it's bpa free or if you want to put it in the ground go right ahead but if you don't have space in the ground make sure you use a bpa free container and then here we have the dark red potatoes these are the norland and you could see the iron here already i'm so excited about these and there's four seeds it's where it's in seeds right but and there's four seeds potato there for 3.99 anyways let's go around the corner and let's see what else we have behind here and very important they're gmo free you always want to make sure the food you eat is healthy so i do appreciate that these are gmo free And then here we have the sweet potatoes and you have two seeds in here for $3.98. The sweet potato that I have in the Caribbean is different from the sweet potato here. Anyways, so these will get 30 to 40 inches tall and they're hardy from zones 8 through 10 and you will harvest these early summer to fall. 
and then look at this one oh my goodness this looks delicious this is the all blue and you get four seeds in here for three dollars and 98 cents and the height is the same 30 to 40 inches tall and hardy from zones four through nine and you make sure you plant these in full sun and then here we have onions there are 90 onions in the bag and these will get 12 to 16 inches tall hardy from zones three to nine wow and they're three dollars and 98 cents too so if you're looking to plant your own onions make sure you pick up these onion seeds and then here we have the red one red barren 90 also for three dollars and 98 cents and they will get 12 to 16 inches and the aroma on these was so strong and then here we have more onions this is the snowball 90 sets for three dollars and 98 cents it's great for cooking and these will get 12 to 16 inches tall hardy from zones three to nine and below here we have asparagus it's dairy resistant there's three plants in here and this is the mary washington and it's hardy from zones two to nine and they will get 24 to 36 inches and as always make sure you inspect your bag and make sure your your fruits or your veggie or your bulbs look pretty healthy and there's no rot and them okay very important and then here we have california soft next seed garlic three bulbs in the pack these are dairy resistant too so here here's a tip for you if you have issues with there why not plug some of these in your garden throughout right just to try to keep away the dare i'm so grateful i don't have any dare in my area and then here we have one plant of the rhubarb this will get 24 to 40 inches tall it prefers full sun anyway friends i really hope you enjoyed this video i just wanted to share with you the edible gmo free plants fruits and veggies so much for watching thank you for being here and try something new plant something new in your garden all right until next time take care for yourselves now cheers